Pastor Julian here with Central's Devotion for today. I hope you're doing well. Uh, we're going to check out the Gospel of John, chapter 20, verses 19 to 22. Special emphasis on verse 21. Now, this is what it says. This is following the resurrection. Uh, at this point, Mary Magdalene had announced to the disciples that she had seen the Lord and told her all about these things, and this is what happens next. Uh, verse, uh, chapter 20, verse 19. On the evening of that day, the first day of the week, the doors being locked where the disciples were for fear of the Jews, Jesus came and stood among them and said to them, Peace be with you. And when they had when he had said this, he showed them his hands and his side. And then disciples were glad when they saw the Lord. Jesus said to them, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, even so I am sending you. And when he had said this, he breathed on them and said to them, Receive the Holy Spirit. Wow. So here we have the disciples are, are all together. We know Tom, when we continue to read on, Thomas is not present with them. But they are gathered together in this locked uh, home uh, so that the, the Jews weren't going to come and get them and, and try and do horrible things to them because they were afraid. They were afraid. And uh, what happens with locked doors? And of course, that isn't going to keep out the resurrected Jesus. And so Jesus came in the, the room, even though the doors were locked. Not going to get into all of that. Uh, but it's pretty cool um, that Jesus is able to just phase through the door in some kind of way and just appear to them uh, where they were, even though they were locking themselves in. And he came in, and what does he do? He shows them his hands, and he shows them his side, proving to them that he is Jesus. Apparently, he doesn't look exactly like he looked before his resurrection. And so, to show them proof, he shows them his side and his hands, which bear the marks of his suffering on the cross. And then Jesus said to them, Peace be with you. Uh, and this is the second time he says it twice. Peace be with you when he first came in. And he says it again, Peace be with you. And then the he says this to them. This is so important to understand because this is, this is the mission of God here, uh, summed up in verse 21. Jesus said to, the again, said to them again, Peace be with you. As the Father has sent me, even so I am sending you. So the Father, we, we know this, that the Father has sent Jesus into the world to become incarnate, to fulfill the mission that God had laid out. Um, ultimately, with Jesus going to the cross and suffering and dying for our sins and then rising from the dead, and establishing his authority over everything, including death. And so that is part of the mission, and, and part of the mission is what Jesus did throughout his whole ministry, which was uh, restoring and redeeming. And having completed this incredible work on the cross that we couldn't do on our own, um, the, the, the perfect life, divine and human, uh, being sacrificed on our behalf uh, with our sins uh, upon him. Now we can go out and we can share that gospel message with others, that, that restoration, um, that redemption is possible through Jesus Christ and what he has done on the cross. And so Jesus says, as the Father has sent me, now I am sending you. And so Jesus is now sending his disciples who were afraid. They're all locked in the room. He's now sending them 
to continue his mission of restoration and redemption in the world, this, this broken and fallen world. And God didn't just send them out at that moment willy-nilly, but he also breathed on them and said, receive the Holy Spirit. And this, you're going to find a number of different schools of thought on this. You know, this isn't the full outpouring of the Holy Spirit in this passage. Jesus is giving them an illustration that the, the Holy Spirit will be um, coming from him. He's going to be putting out the Holy Spirit, but he also breathed on them uh, power. And so this isn't like the, the, the full portion, the Holy Spirit has come to fully indwell. Uh, this, is, um, this is something very significant, though. And the Spirit is involved um, with them, but not as it would be at Pentecost. Pentecost is the big, big moment when the Holy Spirit fully comes and indwells and leads. And so, uh, but Jesus sends them out. He prepares them and sends them out um, to go and continue on this wonderful mission of sharing the gospel to restore and redeem the lost, to, to search and find the lost and redeem those broken souls that are out there. And that's what the church is called to do. That's what you and I are called to do. Because at Pentecost, we're all sent out. All who receive the Holy Spirit are sent out to go and continue God's mission in this world. God bless you and have a great day.